Um, we need, for instance, we need to compel the candidate to also disclose. Because the irony of this uh, rising political um, um, funding cost vis-a-vis -vis the requirement to, for political parties to disclose uh, you know, the amount of money spent is that the bulk of the funding is done directly by the candidate to whom they choose without passing the funding through the structures or the accounts of the political party. Hmm. So sitting at headquarters in Accra, I'm not in a position to know how much the NDC candidate in Kwasi for instance, is spending in his campaign and what he's spending the money on. Much the same way when it comes to presidential campaigns, it is the same. No presidential candidate channels his campaign funding through the political party. So at the end of the year, the parties are able to disclose what amount of money passed through their accounts, and they cover deals and contributions and donations that are done to the party at the party. But mind you, if any big donor wants to contribute to the party, he wants to do it through the person who becomes the president or the MP, because he is the individual whom he will be relying on for subsequent favors and so on. So if the, the laws about disclosure is just compelling political parties to file accounts, then a lot of the funding will go undisclosed. 